So, Terry, you're going to um, take a step back from the uh, dugout team, aren't you, and go back to your head of football operations role, um, having you know been part of the team that's, that's seen two wins out of two. But it's, it's been great, hasn't it? Obviously, you've, you've mentioned before, and, and Ross has mentioned before, that it's been one big team effort, um, and you're going to leave it up to the, uh, well, as we've said, the, the academy lads um, at, uh, from now on, aren't you? Yeah, it's, it's been a, a fantastic experience again to, you know... Um, be in the dugout and uh, lose your voice and uh, if I look at the two weeks we've had um, Ross came in uh, straight away from the academy and uh, we spoke about obviously formations and, and the team we've had uh, Ross had also um, watched a lot of the games that we've had so it wasn't brand new to him um, yes we made some uh, Fundamental change, I suppose, with with uh, the the two up front, and uh, I think that that's worked very well. Ross has also worked with Tommy, and I thought that worked well. So Ross has been involved in every aspect of the last two games, and the, he's taken con complete control of the training, and it's it's an easy transition into. Uh, me coming out of the changing room, coming out of uh, having having one voice is what you know. That's all you can have in the changing room. You can't have two, three different voices. And uh, Ross, well, I know, will look forward to having complete control. And I'm really, really confident. I've seen enough there to know that. Uh, Ross is more than capable, but he's a, a very, very talented coach. And I think that uh, we'll hopefully continue in the same manner as the last two games. The boys have really bought in to uh, Ross's coaching. And um, if you could see how exuberant and the, the training pitch was buzzing today, so... Yeah, let's let's enjoy. I can sit back a bit and rest and enjoy watching uh, the shots again. Well, that's it, isn't it? We we say academy lads, but that is almost a bit of an injustice because they have come in and and really taken charge of the lads really well. And, and it hasn't. It's been a bit seamless, hasn't it? The transition. It has, yeah, and and I'm sure um, it's. You know, I don't want to put pressure on Ross because um, it is a pressurised position. You're trying to now down uh, a National League manager's job and uh, as far as I'm concerned Ross couldn't have done anything more than he's already done. And obviously you um, moved back to your head of football operations position with a 100% record, two wins out of two and a Vanarama National League Manager of the Week award. Yeah, it's lovely to get all of the credit when you don't deserve all of the credit but um, no, it, it, it's... It's Ross's opportunity now, and um, I'm sure, I'm absolutely sure what I've seen, that it will be as seamless as the first couple of games. And, and you know, we, you are, we will be a miss on the dugout, but I guess what you're trying to say is, is they've been there all along, they've done all the work with you, haven't they? So it, you won't be too much of a miss without being harsh on you. I'm not sure. Us, us managers, we get carried away screaming and shouting, I'm losing my voice. Do they take much notice, the players? Sometimes, sometimes. Uh, no, I'm, I'm more than happy to be going back to where I'm comfortable. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe.